And that was the famous, or maybe some may say the infamous, godfather of gay himself, uh, Tony Walsh, talking about his LGBT walking towards the Dublin, the Lavender Walks. And I would highly recommend if you get an opportunity to do one of Tony's Lavender Walks, please do it. One of the best tours I have ever done. But for now, I... I personally feel very privileged to have um, actor uh, Matthew Malone with us today. So Matthew is currently, you're taking, you are currently acting in Philly McMahon's play Once Before I Go, which you're opening very soon. And yeah. I'm very excited because I will be at the premiere, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Oh, very good. So can you tell us a little bit about Once Before I Go? Yes, of course. So yeah, we're we're in rehearsals at the moment. We've one week to go, so I'm really in the thick of it. We ran the whole play today on the stage, so it felt for very real. For the first real. time since. Yeah, for the first time doing it on the stage. So uh, Philly has written this beautiful play, uh, and it's a three-act classical play at the Gate Theatre, mm-hmm. uh, except, I suppose, what's unusual about it is that Philly has written it about queer people. Yeah. And he's written it about uh, a group of queer friends, and he tracks their journey. Uh, across three different times. So I play Guy Bernard, uh, who is what I think we'd refer to today as a radical queer. He right. we, we does, do love a radical yeah, queer. Yeah, he's a radical <laughs> queer. He is so brave and he's so visible and he uh, is caught up in the storm of an Ireland that's very oppressed, but is also full of really brave people that you know you and I stand on the shoulders of, of course. Um, and they also get affected by the AIDS crisis uh, and Bernard gets directly affected by that mm-hmm. but it's also a love story with lots of laughs and uh, there's a lot in, in it. That must be really difficult for you you know well not difficult but I'd, I'd like to know what it means to you you know you're playing a gay man mm. you know who lived through a time that mm. is totally different to the time that we're living through like you you mentioned the AIDS epidemic and things mm. like that. What's it mean to you to be able to play the part of Bernard who who's living in a, who was living in a totally different world mm. to, to what you and I are today? It's it's really special. It's 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 that overused word privilege. It does feel like a privilege because you're trying to embody and hold this history that you're a part of, mm-hmm. but that you didn't experience. And that yeah. you know, I've benefited from so much work and loss and pain that others have gone through in a huge amount of care. Yeah. So you feel, I was taught, it's funny you were mentioning Tony Walsh earlier, you know, you feel the spirits of these like queers before you. Um, Ones that we is, look up to. Exactly, that we look up to. You know, and Tony is, you know, with us from that time. And there's far more people that are thankfully still here, but there's so many people that aren't here. And yeah. there's so many people that didn't get to be here in this way. So it feels very scary, but also very, very beautiful. Yeah, no, I could totally get that. And I guess there's a certain amount amount of kind of self-education that has to come with playing a role like that Mm -hmm. and empathy and and learning and things like that. Mm. But I think it's a really important story. I think it's really important that we don't forget the people that went before us. Absolutely. But what I also want to ask you is, as an actor Mm. with COVID-19, you've not been able to be on a stage for nearly two years. What's it like being back? It's great. I mean, we meet audiences in a week and that will feel that for me will be the first time to be with an audience in a theater right. and on a stage so I've how are you had, feeling about that are you nervously excited a bit I, about I, I can't wait I'm so excited really? you know, I, yeah I'm not I mean I've you know regular men and nerves that we'd all have but mm. I it's so exciting for us to be back with audiences theater doesn't really happen if theater isn't complete if the audience isn't there and it's a communal experience and this this play really will make people commune in something well from an audience perspective i'm also very excited to be back in the theater <laughs> oh, and see good. you perform so thank you so much for joining us tonight i really really appreciate it and i hope you get to go to some nice events now for the rest of the evening so <laughs> thanks thank so you much for joining us matthew you too know thank you and now we are going to go to uh, some more um Some some more people enjoying themselves at Pride 2021. So enjoy these clips. <laughs> 